In today's video, uh, we will try to understand uh, how to create, edit, and view uh, vendor contracts in SAP, uh, both from the uh, from the angle of uh, T code and also understand where the contract data are stored in which table in SAP. Before we get into the topic, so let us understand what is a contract in SAP. So, contract is uh, a type of an outline agreement. So, uh, what is an outline agreement? So, it is a long-term purchasing agreement containing certain kind of terms and conditions. So, it is done between the ordering party and vendor over predefined material or services over a certain framework of time. So, either based on uh, um, certain uh, uh, like you know quantity or certain uh, value uh, the ordering party will agree with the vendor saying that they would buy so and so quantity within this period of time or so and so value of material or services within so and so period of time so that is a basic understanding of what is a contract in sap so now if you look at so we can uh, use a t code uh, to create uh, a contract so which is a me31k and to edit a contract we can use a t code me32k to view or display a contract we can use me33k and finally when a contract is created or edited so it it saves in these table which is ekko ekpo ekkn ekbe and eket so i will go into the details of the tables later on in the video to start with, let us uh, see a practical example how we can uh, like, you know, create a contract in SAP. So to create a contract, I told uh, the T code is uh, uh, ME31K. Uh, so there are a few ways to navigate to that. One of the way is uh, go to the SAP EC access menu and go into logistics, material management and go into purchasing. And below the purchasing, go to the outline agreement, then select contract. So there you will have the uh, screens for creating, changing and displaying a contract. So which is the ME31K. This is one method. You can go here and double click this or you can directly put in the T code. That is ME31K in this uh, uh, like, you know, T code box at the SAP and click enter. So once you enter that, you would get a screen like this. So, <coughs> so there are two methods to uh, create a contract. One is manually or using uh, some kind of purchase requisition where the data is already available there. So, um, uh, like, you know, let's say using a purchase requisition, what you have to do uh, is like, you know, if you're going to create a contract using purchase requisition, you click this uh, reference to PREQ so then you would uh, get a box like this. Once you enter the purchase requisition number, all the other data pre-populated, then you can go ahead and create the contract. Or if you are doing it manually, you have to give in the vendor number against the contract is going to be and the agreement uh, type. So if you click on that, okay, you would get this screen where the agreement types are here. So generally there are two kind of uh, agreement. One is based on uh, value or based on quantity. So what is value contract is, so it is a kind of agreement that a customer will order a specific value of reasonable, releasable product during a specific period. So what it means is, um, so the contract is based on the value uh, where they are agreeing between within the certain amount of time uh, 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 the buying party that is the ordering party would tell a vendor that I will uh, buy so and so uh, value of material within this period of time. So quantity contract on the other hand, so it is an agreement uh, where a customer will order a specific quantity of releasable product during a specific period, which means yeah, the agreement is based on the quantity of the material look, that will be purchased, not based on the uh, uh, actual value. 
I hope uh, that clears uh, the difference between the value contract and a um, quantity contract. So you can select whichever contract that has to be created. For now, let's like you know select a value contract and go to the next screen. So once you uh, enter that here and click enter so you will uh, navigate to the screen of header data so this has all the header level data of a contract an important field which you have to fill is the validity end of the contract you will fill in the validity end date and uh, you will enter again so that will take you to the uh, line item level uh, view of the contract where you can enter the material target quantity and the net price etc uh, after doing all that uh, once you press save which is this button save uh, like you know a contract number would be created you can see below in the screen here uh, automatic contract number is created so this is how you create a contract in SAP so now let's say if a lot of contracts are created if you want to view this contract from SAP so you can use the T code ME33K, like I said before. You can put in that code. And once you enter, you will be navigated to this first screen here, the one on the top. So where you will enter the agreement number. Once you click enter again, so that will give you the uh, overview or the details of the contract, where the material number is there, the target quantity, net price, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's how you would uh, view or display a contract in SAP. So now we looked at uh, uh, mostly how to create all these contracts from the front end SAP, which is the screen. Um, so now what happens when a contract is created? Generally what happens is it generates uh, a contract line in EKKO and uh, multiple line items in EKPO based on the contract that is created. So how do you identify, uh, like, you know, the contract information from EKK and EKPO? I'll show you that now. So I have a sample uh, table of EKKO, where when you go into the table and uh, let's say, I'll do a select top 10 star from EKKO. So it gives you the top 10 lines of a, uh, like, you know, this table. So let's say 100, as an example, yeah. It gives you the top 100 lines of, a, uh, like, you know, of the transactions or the data in this table. So now two important fields you need to know uh, to identify a contract is, one is the BSTYP, so which is uh, the contract, category okay so which i think so so if we go to linux to identify what is that so if we go to ekko pacoya so this is the one bstyp purchasing document category so this has certain values if the value is k it is a contract so you have to filter down for all the data in ekko for the purchasing document category k um, so once I go here and just say where BSTYP is equal to K, it gives you all the contract document, contract purchasing document. So what is the BSART is basically BSART is the purchasing document type. So what type of contract it is, whether it is a quantity or a, a value based contract is basically that's what it says so mk means like you remember from the slides before so mk is a quantity contract and wk is a value contract so now if you want to see only the quantity contract you can just filter it out uh, further for uh, where and b sort is equal to mk this would give you only the contract data for quantity contracts. So, I mean, if you want to, uh, generally if you're using uh, this contract data to perform some kind of analysis, you generally go to the table level to identify the different uh, uh, data uh, at a single go. So this is how you do it. If this is the header level contractual data, if you want to find the 
line item level, you have to join it with another table called EKPO. Uh, so based on the uh, EBELN, it is the purchasing document number. So when you join that, you get the line item level detail okay, from this table. So that's how you see uh, all the contracts together at a table level in SAP. So there are a few other tables I mentioned about uh, here in the uh, like you know, slide, which is um, the EKKN um, and uh, EKB and EKK, EKET. So what is that is EKKN is a purchasing document account assignment. So this table contains the account assignment information for the contract, such as the cost center and the internal order. So if you're looking for cost center where the contract is assigned to, you need to go into this table to find that. And EKB is the, it is the history of the, uh, like, you know, per purchasing document. So basically, whenever you make a change to a contract, all those change logs and the history of the changes made to the contract, such as the date and time uh, of the change and the user who made the change, all those details are there in the stable EKBE. And EKET is the scheduling agreement scheduling lines. So this table actually contains the delivery schedule for the contract, including the delivery dates and the quantities that has been decided. So that's it for today's session on the contract related uh, uh, discussion uh, from SAP and also the SAP tables. I hope uh, this would have been useful information uh, for the people who are working in this area of SAP and uh, procure to pay or from the procurement department or even from the contract management department. So if you have any further questions on the contract related uh, uh, concepts within SAP, please feel free to leave it in the comment. I would uh, try and uh, answer that. And also let me know if this kind of video is useful to you. If it is useful, I will try and make um, um, like, you know, one video every day. I will try that, but I'm not sure, but I'll try that. So thank you for listening. I will uh, connect back with you with another video very soon. Have a good day.